Alright, welcome everybody. New Joker 6 here. Today we're going to take a look at the Okina. They're the first and I believe only Psy weapons in the game. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you my build. And I, I know I didn't get a video up on Wednesday. Apologies. I'm trying to keep videos up on Wednesday and Fridays. Every other Friday we've got Borrow Katir. And I haven't done a build video in a while. So I decided I'd get that up. I'm just going to leave the build up on here on the screen while I can uh, keep talking. Um, so this is what I'm going with. Uh, I did originally have a video to go up on Wednesday, but there was rendering issues. There was, it failed multiple times. For whatever reason, the render could not finish. And the one time that it did finish, I had no audio. Like, I had the intro was fine, the outro was fine, but then the actual Warframe part of the video, there was there was nothing. It was completely dead silent. But, uh, this is what we're going with for the Oak now here. Spinning Needle, Prime Pressure Point, Prime Fury, Violent Scourge, Voltaic Straight, Drifting Contact, Condition Overload, Vicious Frost, and Volcanic Edge. The Slash, if it does proc, is going to help window health a bit. The Corrosive is going to help remove armor to make the job easier. And the Blast is going to keep the heavy units, well, off their ass. <laughs> so, I'm sure you guys know by now, I, I usually test or prefer testing mine against 100. Because enemies, they don't really go higher than that. Unless, unless you're part of the group that likes to do... More of endurance runs, survivals past an hour, defenses past, I don't know, what is it, like 50 waves, 60 waves, something like that? That's probably lower than that. Uh, but, you, you know, you get the idea. A majority of the people do play Star Chart, and, or they play, rather, Sortie and Lower. Especially with uh, the newer players that aren't, I guess, quite accustomed I guess you could say with all all the mods or exactly what they're doing and whatever and just some people just don't like doing endurance runs in general so they just don't do it so 100 is the highest that they're gonna end up coming up against but I'm gonna say for the people that like to do their extended runs the Okina is not gonna work for you I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat oh uh, but we're gonna go up against 100 100 oh god and uh, enemies at level 100 I'm going to go up against, like, you know, kind of a typical group of enemies that you'd come across. Two heavy gunners, a bombard, and five butchers. And since this is, you know, going to be more of a simulation of an actual event that can happen, we're going to go throw this down. We're going to get our armor up. We're going to get our health up. And let's go. No surprise here. The lower, weaker units are trash. Got the heavier units knocked down. The corrosive takes effect. Phoenix Renault, unfortunately, had to save me there. It didn't didn't have to in my last test. He's down. I probably should have went for the bombard first. I would have given the heavy gunners time to split up. So as you see, for a hundred and lower, it's not going to be that bad. The blast keeps the heavy units down to, you know, kind of. Give you that time that you can use. Just turn that off. Um, I'm sure this will get rid of the Phoenix Renewal, right? No, it won't. Oh my god. Ah, uh, but against uh, lighter units, it is very easy to take them down with this. Which, <laughs> if it couldn't even do that, we'd have a problem. And if you have more than you can handle, that blast will kick in and just knock them all over. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to run this again. Hopefully, uh, Phoenix Renewal won't need to trigger this time. Otherwise, I'm just going to get killed. And, of course, you know it's that curse. Once you're recording, that's when things get... Oh, the shit. Take this one. He's down. Boom, 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 boom. 
He's down and oh. I took the bomb bar down without even trying. Oh. <laughs> but there you go. You can see how that works with level 100s. Um, for those that want to go past that, I can go ahead and throw 120 in here and let you get a look at that if you want to go a little past that. Um, these are still going. So I don't need to reactivate any of that. Oh, that was not intentional. Boom, boom, no problem. Even with these level 120s. And the blast will kick in, knock him off his feet. And if not, we, then we're going to get that corrosive. So if we don't get the blast that's going to proc to knock him over, we're all, you know, it's almost like guaranteed that we're going to get the corrosive. That's going to proc and strip the armor and make it easier. And the more status that is applied. So, well, it's like we're going to be guaranteed to get one. So, rather than that, that's plus 60% melee damage. Uh, most times we're going to get two, so that's another plus 120%. Like, that's more than half of another prime pressure point. What's a normal pressure point in? 120, okay, so if we can just get two stats, just get the corrosive and the blast, never mind the slash. Just get the corrosive and the blast to proc. It's like having a pressure point and a prime pressure point in this build. And if slash were to proc, then that'll be another 60%, in which case it'll be like having two prime pressure points. In fact, if we ended up getting three to proc, this would be higher. Which, actually, we could get that to proc. So, let's just take a look at this and, you know, a little more of a theory. Because if we throw down our hollowed ground, that should technically count as another status. Which in turn should make this even easier. Oh, that was... I think I relied a little too much on that without thinking. This goddamn butcher is getting annoying. But uh, I'm sure you guys get the idea. Um, I'm sure executed properly now would go a whole lot smoother. So, I mean, I can just like throw one more up here. Now, if I was playing over on like this, I'd probably go more like this. Personally. probably more of how I would have done that if this was actually you know happening in game and I was playing more of a serious game I guess with the with Oberon and just my Okina but I probably play a little more like that you know maybe I've thrown a smite in there towards the end and not a hollowed ground but the point is the Okina gets the job done even at 120 and lower as long as you know you're actually able to survive However, that may be Ryanos, Iron Skin, Mesa's, what is it, the Shatter Shield, Oberon's Armor and Health, Restore, um, Trinity with the Link, whatever it, however you need to, to survive. <laughs> the point is, as long as you can live, the Okina can get that job done. And I, I want to say a fair amount of time, I'll put the build back up here, that I used during this. In a fair amount of time, but if you're going to go for any kind of extended run, then 
just don't even think about it. <laughs> don't even think about the Okina. Just put that out of your mind altogether. Now, um, for before anyone says anything, I did have Berserker in here originally, and but Condition Overload did work better. Since Berserker only has a five percent chance. Did I put no? I do have a Berserker in here. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> but um, Berserker, do not put that in here. Five percent crit chance. It's not gonna. It's not gonna proc that often. Even with the speed. Oh. Mm, but. You, you saw this. You saw how it works multiple times. I'm sure you got an idea right now. With level 100s and 120s in a group setting. Never mind a one-on-one. -on -one. If it was a one-on-one, -on -one, enemies wouldn't even stand a chance. So... <laughs> I don't just enjoy enjoy your build happy modding uh, hit leave a comment down below let me know if there's a certain weapon that you want to see a build for and I'll see what I can do hit the subscribe button hit that bell right beside the subscribe button that way you get notifications when we release new videos new builds let you know when borrows coming or what borrows bringing and I'll see you next time Take care, everybody. Happy modding.